All right guys welcome back to the channel in this video i'm going to show you how you can create topography texture inside of davinci resolve now, i've seen these textures quite a lot in the world of motion graphics if you go to pinterest and type in topography texture you can see the results i'm going to create something similar inside of davinci resolve and animate it here i have a blank fusion composition and on the right side i have a macro which you can download the link will be in the description so you just have to simply install it and you can just control all the settings right inside the edit page and create your own pattern for this uh, topography texture so you can just change the scale and all that stuff right inside the edit page you can change the speed of the animation the strength and all that cool stuff you can make it come horizontally like that and uh, you can change all these settings inside the edit page there is the option to change the color as well and uh, the edge width and the brightness as well all right so all the settings are inside the edit page uh, the link will be in the description you can download and install the macro and you are pretty much good to go now i'm going to show you how you can create this inside fusion so here i have a blank fusion composition so let's go to the fusion page and start creating our animation right over here so the first node we need is the fast noise so search for fast noise and click on add and if we view this fast noise this is how it is going to look i'm going to go to the color page over here and make sure that the the alpha is set to one so that the color is black so we have color one set to black and color two is set to white so we don't have any transparency in our fast noise so you can go back to your fast noise and change the settings over here such as detail brightness and contrast and all that stuff you can change the scale and all that stuff right over here and you can also increase the see through rate if you want to have some animation inside this so you can see the animation going on when we increase the see through rate the next thing we are going to do is add in a box blur to this and after the box blur we are going to add in a posterize effect or the posterize node which you will not find in the select tool option for that we have to go to the effects tab over here and we search for posterize and under templates you will find posterize effects so just make sure you drag and drop it inside the flow over here and if you take a look at posterize uh, this is what it does so we have these uh, different layers of textures and that is what we are looking for you can of course change the settings over here for smoothness and uh, number of steps uh, but i think the default settings work just fine so let's just leave it as it is for now next node that we are going to add is edge detect so let's just click on add and we can just uh, drag that this to the viewer and you can see our edge detect is going to turn the data from posterize node into these uh, edges which is exactly what we want and now in the edge detect we can change the edge width and all that stuff right over here uh, but what if we want to change the color so if we go to fast noise and we have the color option here and since our edge line is set to white so let's try and change the color to over here since that is also white but if you do that then you can notice that when we change the color it changes the it changes the look of our texture which is cool actually but we don't want that right if you're going for that you can of course use the color to over here and come up with some really abstract animations but let's just uh, set this to default value and i'm going to go back to edge detect and set the mode to grayscale edges and now we have this color picker over here where we can easily change the color of our edge width over here and uh, we can change it to any color that we want all right that is looking pretty cool now the next thing we're going to do is we are going to get rid of the black background over here and replace it with our own background after this edge detect node we are going to add in a luma here click on add and this will get rid of the black background so if you view this luma here you can see that it gets rid, rid of the black area and we have this on a transparent texture all right so you can make sure that if you right click go to options you should enable the checker underlay to see this properly now after this we can add in our own background node click on add and we can just choose any background for this so i'm going to use this uh, color over here and click on ok and now if we have this merge one and you can see it's sitting on top all you have to do is right click and click on swap inputs there's also a shortcut key for this 
and we have the background and the texture in the front i'm actually going to change the color of the texture a little bit so let's just do that real quick i'm going to use this color for now and of course you can go to fast noise and go to noise and if you play with different settings over here you will get a really cool result from your textures you can go to edge detect itself and go to the actually let's go to posterize and we can change the smoothness and have a we'll have a really cool result so if you play your animation you have this nice topography texture being animated and you can control the speed of the animation by increasing or decreasing the c rate over here all right so that is basically it that's how you can create a topography texture inside all davinci resolve just make sure you connect it with media out and you can of course uh, add as many effects as you want so for example after the edge detect we can add in a um, glow to this click on add and if we take a look at this now we have this cool glow going on and we can change the size and the glow amount and maybe after this merge one we can add in a film grain to this click on add and let's take a look at the final result and we have this really cool looking animation so you can now use this texture and make your work pop a little by using this as a background for your projects and it will improve your overall quality of your videos so that is pretty much it thank you so much for watching the video and i'll see you guys in the next one